with celebrity fashion stylist Mark Allen, Allen Harmon to discuss our favorite celebs and what their clothes say about them. Mark, give us the dish, please. What's happening with these clothes? All right. Well, you know, you all have heard of the Da Vinci Code, right? Yes. Yes. This I've is heard the fashion code. All right. Very serious. Okay. All right. We're going to look at the red carpet okay. what these people are wearing, right. and I can tell you what's going on in their life. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so first we're gonna start with Betty White. Okay. We all love some Betty White, right? Oh, oh. Now, if you look at this, you can see Betty don't care. All right. <laughs> She's like, I got my Emmy. I'm like 103 years old. I outlived all the other Golden Girls. Look at me, I'm rocking. She ain't trying. Now, if she was Mary Tyler Moore, trying to make another yet comeback. She'd have some red thing on with a shoulder pad that makes her look skinny and, you know, 70 again. So we got to give her props out for yeah. that. Loving yeah. it. Yeah. Love it. She can't, Love she it. can't do anything. She can't do anything. Yeah. I mean, who would not want to go and hug an Easter egg? Right. What do you think of an Easter egg? Right. You're like, oh, she's adorable. She looks, Love she's it. adorable and she looks like an Italian ice. An <laughs> Italian. Yes. Yeah, yes. She? And if she took away four layers of chiffon, it'd be totally sheer, which is kind of sexy for yeah. <laughs> whatever that is. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the ever amazing in my locker room at the gym, Gerard Butler. Oh. That's good looking. Okay. Look at look at Lonnie's face. There what? you were like, your mind just kind of went a little bananas for a second. Yeah. You were like, uh-huh. <laughs> Yeah, but that ain't no George Clooney, though, baby. Yeah. Yeah. He aight, he aight. Give him him 20 years and he'll be George Clooney. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. So what you can see about him is he's got the no tie. He's got a high two-button jacket. So it's traditional. He wants to tell the world, I'm here to stay. I want to be that classic man. I want to be that man that you look to and go, well, he's not in some pinstripe. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's Are a fact. No? Is he reading the host? Is that what's happening? I'm just saying that he's on you a pinstripe. You don't let nobody in that type of jacket talk about you like that. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> Thank you for your support, studio audience. Thank you. Now, you all, now wait a minute. You're making that mean something bad. <laughs> you have a different intention than he has. All right, all okay? right. He has this intention of like, oh, what's up? That's right. not your intention. No, I'm old and married. This is what I look right, like. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Next, uh, the lady of the night, Lady Gaga. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things I think she's saying by the colors she put together in this is that she wants to be taken more seriously. She's trying to do some more regal things. You can see that in that line. <laughs> because what I want to be taken seriously, well, I, I mean, have it, a headdress. It's better than that whole ice bubble thing where she had the big clear bubble skirt. That outfit says to me, I need a man, all right? <laughs> Thank you so much, Mark. That was fun. Wasn't that, that fun? Was fun. Thank you, Mark. When we return, Jill Walderman from FanLaLive.com gives us the scoop on Rihanna. Don't miss it. Follow the Gossip Queens on Facebook and Twitter. Closed captioning provided by...